smudge your nail polish, just like lift the tip of your finger a little bit and rub it on there and it'll smooth it right off. Pro tips, life hacks, whatever. It's Lauren, um, sticking with our tropical theme that we've been doing. Tonight I'm going to show you how to make a pina colada. The first thing I'm going to do is just blend up a little bit of ice. Unfortunately, I don't have an ice crusher, so I'm hoping that my blender can handle this. Um, it'll just make it easier to fit more ice into here, and it'll be more of a slushy than just like a half liquidy thing with ice pieces in it. Okay. I'm just going to keep adding ice. So, got it pretty crushed. It honestly looks like snow right now, which is really cool, kind of. Okay. Um, great. Basically, the most important, the, the ingredients of a pina colada are, you're going to want some coconut rum or white rum, um, some cream, coconut cream or coconut cream liqueur. Tonight, we're featuring Coco Sky coconut cream liqueur, um, as well as some pineapple juice. We're using this V8 pineapple coconut that we use in our Mai Tais. Um, and then we're also going to be adding some toasted pineapple um, drinking bitters from Bitter Love. So that'll add a little extra kick to it as well as, this is the secret ingredient people. Okay, are you ready? We are putting pineapple hot sauce straight from Hawaii into these pina coladas. Not a lot, but it's going to be a little bit of a zinger. We've got our ice ready to go. Um, first going to um, pour out some of this rum. So we're going to do a single shot of the Malibu. Put that in there. And then we'll do a double shot of the Coco Sky coconut cream liqueur. Okay, double shot of Coco Sky. This stuff is really good, you guys. You can actually just drink this straight on ice and it's pretty fantastic. All right, so we got our two liqueurs in there. Um, then we are going to almost top this off with the pineapple coconut juice, but leave a little bit of the room on the top for a splash of drinking bitters. And Final touch, a dash of hot sauce. All right. Once it's all blended up, you can pour it out into a hurricane glass, which I currently do not have in my kitchen, or a margarita glass, which works just as good. Right, and then I'm just really quickly gonna whip up another one and then I'll show you how to finally garnish them. All right. And then, Okay, so we have this pineapple, never before seen pineapple. <laughs> Did you know pineapples were so easy to cut? <laughs> no, you didn't. They're not very easy, I cut this earlier. So I'm gonna cut slices that are about this thick for the garnish. Um, and then you kind of just want like triangles. So, the skin is a little bit tough. Um, so then you just go, so, cut out a wedge, a 
and then super easy and cute garnish. You leave the skin right on there. Okay. Um, we'll do that for the other one as well. There we go. There it is. And that is a spicy pina colada. Hey guys, it's Lauren. In the foreign. And we are freezing in this room. We are drinking frozen pina coladas, even though it's freezing and it's the middle of winter. But cheers to tropical vibes. So last week, the foreign and Valerie made me eat a hot Cheeto. Extra, extra flaming hot Cheeto. That's what they made. And did you like it? Here's the thing, it did taste good. It tasted like a Cheeto, but then afterwards I about died. So like, <laughs> I'd rather just have a regular Cheeto. Um, anyways, as a little fun payback, <laughs> since the foreign loves spicy food, I brought her back a special gift from Hawaii. This pineapple hot sauce. Hawaii spice, the secret oh. ingredient sauce, the secret ingredient in our pina coladas. In the pina coladas, you can taste, it's kind of like hits your throat at the back, the back of your throat after you take a sip of it. Yeah. Um, it's really subtle, but try this before, and it was extremely spicy for me. I don't know what that would say for her, but she has to drink a shot of it. This might Here ruin the entire episode, because I'm really not prepared for this. Um, so, if the episode continues without me, that's why. You ready to drink a lot of that? I'm gonna fill it up to the fill line. Okay. I'm not ready, but. Uh, wow. At least maybe this will warm me up. Maybe you should do it too. <laughs> You're funny. Okay. Here's your shot. You have a. Milk-based chaser, both. So or cream-based, gluten-free. So, uh, we're gonna just do another cheers to spicy, yeah. tropical things. Just in one full. I think the shot is true. Okay. What if I like, pass out? What if I start crying? You drink. You have. You have drank hot sauce before, but you have. You know, but it's. It's so large, it's just nothing with it, a large amount. You have a chaser. You eat the pineapple when you're done. So when you're eating pineapple, 
it's breaking down, the, so it automatically goes to like breaking down protein mode, so it's eating your tongue while you're eating pineapple. So when you're eating pineapple, it's eating you back. And that's the tingly feeling you're having. I'm not eating my pineapple, that's disturbing. This drink is in my top five. Wow. So far, corn and corn drinks. That's awesome. I really like it because um, I like anything tropical. It reminds me of summer. I like pineapple a lot. I like coconut a lot. So I kind of have to like both of those things. And it's like not too sweet. We put we used rum and the cream liqueur and I thought like all together everything would be so sweet, but it's pretty subtle. So it's easy to drink. You don't feel like you're drinking like a pile of sugar. And it's just a very refreshing, fun drink. It is refreshing. High five. Imagine if you were attacked by just one giant bromine and like your whole self just disintegrated. <laughs> and what would happen if you covered your whole body in oh. like a raw pineapple? Oh my gosh. That's probably why you don't hear about much like pineapple flavored bath products, like straight pineapple. True. You can't probably. You get eaten alive in your bathtub by your body wash. Oh my gosh. What a nightmare. Oh my gosh. Next week. We're going to a big fun holly bash. I'm dipping it in the hot sauce because it's not hot enough for me. Yeah, that's what this mix is missing. Pineapple hot sauce. Something spicy like a pineapple hot sauce. Oh yeah, so we're going to this holly bash. There's gonna be like games and food and holiday cocktails. Wait, what? Yeah. I was indecisive about this party. We can't let it hear this. Um, we can't wait to see you guys next week. You'll get to see how the fun holiday party went. If there's not cocktails like you are supposedly promising me, if there aren't cocktails there, they run out by the time we arrive. We will have cocktails. I will make sure that your cocktails are provided for you. Thank you. Of course. It's my only Christmas wish. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next week. Bye.